Hello and welcome to the podcast. Breakfast on Midlands 183 with thanks to Tillamore Credit Union's current account, tillamorecu.ie. Your bad dad gags with Tullamore Test and Repair Centre, one of the leading auto repair shops serving the Midlands. Now with extended opening hours to facilitate our customers. Tullamoretest.ie. Bad dad gag time. Let's hear, let's hear from the wonderful people of the Midlands mm. with their incredible bad dad gags. Uh, Duncan sent me one earlier in the week. He said, I said to my wife, there's only one thing that scares me during Halloween. Okay, what's that? Yeah, let's try this again. There's only one thing that scares me during Halloween, which is exactly witches. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> Man, David, you were nice prepared to... for that. one I was because I knew you would get it wrong. I can't. I, I'm not very cooperative <laughs> with these things. <laughs> uh, Duncan also said, "I can't believe how rude the suppository headline was." <laughs> helpline was sorry. Helpline was. <laughs> Ah. Peter <laughs> You're doing the people of the Midlands a disservice here Come on Absolutely um, <laughs> Here's for that Duncan Roll on the weekend God. For the Friday before Halloween Hilda said uh, Don't kill bugs and spiders They're all part of the ecosystem Get it? Ecosystem as in Oh e- e- Hilda <laughs> Yeah Come on <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Lyndon Portleash sent us on uh, a voice note Okay, have a listen to this Good morning, Peter What do you call a can opener that doesn't work? David, what do you call a can opener that doesn't work? I don't want to steal his thunder But I know the answer Let's do it A can opener Boom, boom A can opener hey oh! I love Linda's little sound effect at the end Hold on there Boom, boom <laughs> what, do <you> think? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Linda? Boom, boom <laughs> Actually, hold on there I like that Let's try something now do you know Linda was part of the 90s uh, group called the Out There Brothers? You know that? <laughs> Do you know what? I actually didn't. <laughs> <Well> <laughs> That's news to me. Well, there you go now. Do you remember the song? Linda, you kept that quiet. I tell you that. <laughs> Peter. God, you're some man. Fair play. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, Paul said, hi, guys. David Hasselhoff. Mm. Has started referring to himself as Hoff because it's less hassle. Yeah, Get it? Less yeah. hassle. Uh, Enda said, I saw my neighbour crying mowing the lawn. He was just going through a rough patch. It's nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Amo said, If I would choose one superpower, I'd choose invisibility. Mm. Just want to make myself clear. <laughs> Love it. For the Halloween that is upon us very soon. A big shout out to all the boys and girls who are getting dressed up this morning heading into school. Yeah, oh Have God, enjoy that. That's got to be one of the highlights of the academic year. Absolutely, getting to bring in your own treats and everything and doing very little work. No, obviously. 100%. Um, did you know ghosts are just people who died trying to fold a fitted bed sheet? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like that. The temptation is still there. You know when you're changing the duvet cover and you're trying to... Ooh. And then you're... Ooh. <laughs> We're all a little bit childish so when it comes to that. So um, Gary Lineker. Yes. Great footballer. Do you know he went through his entire football career without getting a single booking? Yeah. Mm. But he did soil himself uh, while playing for England. Good man, Dave. <laughs> anyway, Let's go just on. remind everybody about that, yeah? yeah? 100%. It's one of the funniest <laughs> things ever, like... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Clean But my, my uncle also went through his whole career Without getting the booking Oh yeah Yeah lovely guy But a really crap DJ <laughs> Oh dear What happens if you don't pay an exorcist? I don't know You get repossessed Yeah <laughs> <laughs> You haven't paid up Right Back in there yeah. Back in yeah. <laughs> Open your mouth <laughs> And there's a new virus doing the rounds Do you know that? Oh yeah, it's making people forget about 80s rock bands. Oh, really? Weird. Yeah. Nobody knows the cure. <laughs> Imagine that. No! No! No, get out here, you. Get in here, you. Yeah, there you go. Peter, <laughs> this audience of yours is a bit sycophantic sometimes, I think. I think you're right, David. Get this show in full Monday to Friday from 6.30 a.m. to 9 on Midlands 103. Coldplay Viva La Vida, Midlands 103. Good morning, it's 10 to 8. So did you uh, watch any horror films as we approach Halloween? Um, we were watching one the other night. I forget the name of it. Do you know when you're watching a horror film and you go, look, don't go in there. Don't 
Ah, don't go into the basement. You can't get out. You, you lug you. Get out. Or somebody's being chased and you go, oh, you run a little bit faster. He's not that fast. Run. Well, some fitness experts have worked out how fast we have to run to flee horror movie villains. Okay. <laughs> So most joggers will move around five mile an hour. So you'd be able to escape slow coach Michael Myers from Halloween. But Ghostface from Scream is much faster and agile and moves at a rate of 12 miles per hour. Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is surprisingly quick at 10 miles per hour. So next time you see somebody up at the crack of dawn go for a jogger run and you're laughing at them going, ha ha. Just think, they would be able to outrun a villain. Actually, they don't need to outrun a villain, they just need to outrun you. Well, you're missing the music. You can get the show in full weekday mornings from 6.30am on Midlands 103. Australia's mental as anything, Midlands 103. Peter with you, 21 minutes past seven. Are you ready to get your brain boosted for Tuesday? Mm -hmm. Are you ready for a cup of caffeine? Be the coffee and espresso. Even I'm no muggish gold at this hour in the morning. Well, have a listen to your caffeine kick for today. And text or WhatsApp me the answer, followed by your name and location, 083 30 10 103. Get it right. Get on the honours list. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? So what comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? Do you have the answer? Will you be on the honours list? Get this show in full Monday to Friday from 6.30am to 9 on Midlands 103. Alex Warren, Ella Henderson, carry you home Midlands 103. Good morning. Welcome to Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed your bank holiday weekend. It's just coming up to quarter past eight. So Eric Ten Hag's time in charge of Manchester United came to an end yesterday. United boss is sacking the Dutchman after two and a half years as boss. And the kids were asking me yesterday, who's going to take charge of Man United now? And I, I don't know. I'm not sure. And they said, you could. And I went, that's not a bad idea, actually. I'll give it a bash. So I have my hand here. You hear this? This is my letter to the Manchester United recruitment team. I want you to have a listen. Let me know if you think it's good enough before I click send, Okay. Dear Manchester United recruitment team, I'm writing to toss my hat and hopefully my whistle into the ring for the manager's job. Now, while my formal management credentials may not be up to previous managers, my coaching history is nothing short of legendary. I've honed my skills coaching local kids in football and hurling with such strategic gems as foxes and hens flush the toilet. Believe me, these build character and stamina too. And dealing with hyperactive children would be the perfect training for dealing with overpaid footballers. Okay? It also brings home that I bring flair to the table. My bronze medal for art from the 1992 Community Games proves I have creativity. I'd save Ineos quite a bit in salary, bringing more value than one could find in the transfer market, i.e. I'm very cheap. My tactical training on games such as FIFA and Pro Evolution Soccer has spanned years, shaping my eye for talent, timing and substitutions. I'm also not afraid to hit R2 and triangle if needs be. I think it's time Manchester United took a step towards real ingenuity. I'm ready when you are. Kind regards, Peter Dunn. What do you think? Wake up to breakfast. Peter Dunn on Midlands 183. Wednesday, it's 25 to 9. Even though it's midterm, we're gonna still gonna educate her, but we are. We're gonna still gonna. That's great grammar, isn't it, Courtney? Brilliant grammar for me. We're gonna still gonna. How's that? <laughs> I it's not know. worse than what I've said probably some st- <laughs> at some stage in the news bulletin. <laughs> not at all, not at all. <laughs> so this is the part of the show where we deliver some fantastic facts, okay? It facts is. that will blow your mind. Okay. Incredible facts, okay? <laughs> you're looking at me going, no, no, you're full of it now, hold on. <laughs> and you may be right, <laughs> but you cannot deny the facts. So fact number one, did you know your brain uses as much power as the little light at the back of your refrigerator? <laughs> I think maybe some people's does, but... <laughs> Me, hands up, 
<laughs> Sometimes that light doesn't even work, Courtney. <laughs> Ah, whatever. Sometimes you just give it a quick slap to turn it on. <laughs> exactly, give it a give it a thump. Um, did you know female lions do eighty five to ninety percent of the hunting? No. Okay. Female lions do it. They do, but they yeah. work a bit harder. So if you want something done, ask a ask female lion. I could have told you that myself, Peter. <laughs> Honest to God. <laughs> well, male lions are just lying around going, "Oh, yeah, I'll do it in a minute." Yeah. <laughs> You told me 20 times I'll go out and get a deer Hold on <laughs> um, How long can you stare Without blinking? Not very long We'd have played this game At home with the kids Yeah and like, I can't you know, do it very yeah, long Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your eyes are open And then you go Ah you blink No I didn't Yes you did The longest stare Without blinking Is 40 minutes And 59 seconds No way They must have been Clinically dead At that stage I'd say they needed A fair few eye drops After that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Researchers say that every inch someone grows above five feet takes 1.3 years off your life. Oh. Wow. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now, to all you short people out there who will eventually be looking down on us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what a group of owls is called? Of owls? Yeah. What's a group of owls? You know, like a no. school of dolphins or whatever. No a herd idea. of cattle. A parliament. A parliament? A parliament. <laughs> How cool is that? That's a parliament really cool. of owls. Look at them with their small little... Very official. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yes. <laughs> with their uh, monocles, yeah. you know. Um, did you know 36 million years ago, penguins were five feet tall? <laughs> five feet tall? Five foot tall penguin. I think I'd be terrified if I seen a five foot tall penguin. Five foot tall penguin, goodness. What would That's the height of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened The group of five feet And it took 1.3 years Off their life There you go Now there you it go caught up with them <laughs> <laughs> Let's give you one more Did you know Pandas will fake pregnancies In order to receive More food And special treatment From humans Well that's a great idea <laughs> <laughs> More power brilliant. to them <laughs> More power to you Fair play to you Faking pregnancies <laughs> To get more food And special treatment that's brilliant I could try it out myself you actually <laughs> yeah. ah, you might not back. get away with it Peter <laughs> no no I mightn't get away with it now whatever breakfast with Peter Dunn on Midlands 103 weekday mornings from 6.30am these are the highlights simply read how appropriate Midlands 103 big hello to Dee and Jerry and Mullingar who are celebrating their anniversary today they're married 41 years congrats guys have a brilliant one and big thanks for all your feedback for my, uh, my letter to the Manchester United recruitment team as I throw my hat and my whistle into the ring. Dave said, you'd be crap at it. But that's how Man United play. You would fit in rather well. Thanks so much, Dave. That's kind. Um, Phil says, excellent. When can you start? I can start now, I suppose. Like, I'll do the show in the morning and then I'll take training in the later on in the morning, afternoon. Games are normally late enough. Yeah, it should be clash. It should be great. I did mention um, I would be relatively cheap in comparison to some of the Premier League managers' wages and previous Manchester United managers' wages. A big thanks to my wife who texted me and said, Oi, not too cheap now. Well, you're missing the music. You can get the show in full weekday mornings from 6.30am on Midlands 103. The cores on your feel-good breakfast, Midlands 103. It's Peter with you. You ready for Halloween on Thursday? Well, speaking of Halloween, unexpected noises are the scariest things we experience, apparently. So the top 10 list of scariest things was compiled by Benson for Beds. And behind the top spot was nightmares, burglars, horror films and crime dramas. Halloween and being home alone were also named as some of the things that scare us the most. But the scariest things are the unexpected noises. Yeah. Do you know when you hear that kind of a thump or something like that? You go, what was that? Do you know? Do you hear that? No. Oh, goodness. What was that? And then you go up to the hot press and you go, it's the scariest thing possible. A leak. A leak. Bloody radiators. Yeah, had one of those lately. Anyway, how are you getting on with the caffeine kick? Let's give it to you again. Have a think about this. Then send your answer. 083 30 10 103. Text WhatsApp or WhatsApp voice note. And stick your name on it as well. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? Have a think about that, and we will let you know what the answer is, and if you made the honours list. Next. Getting you up and getting you ready. Breakfast with Peter Dunn on Midlands 103. 
What a voice. I've been looking forward to this single for a long time. You might see her honing her skills there on Grafton Street, busking, and she's over 5 million followers on social media. Ali Sherlock, she's absolutely brilliant. Good morning, happy Halloween, by the way. Peter with you. This is your Feel Good Breakfast on Midlands 103. And I'm asking you for your best Halloween slash scary laugh. And the WhatsApp voice noted to me on 083 30 10 103. And what we'll do is we'll run this through our Phantom Frequencies Laboratory where we can make sounds sound very, very spooky. Give it a bash. 083 30 10 103. Ollie did. Ooh, I like that. Nice one, Ollie. I like that. And uh, Cormac gave it a bash as well. Morning, Cormac. Spooky. And Quiva gave it a go as well. Morning, Quiva. <laughs> Love it. What can you do? 083 30 10 103. And uh, Duncan gave it a go as well. Have a listen to this. <laughs> <gasps> that is brilliant. Okay, I'm inspired. Let's give it a go. I'm going to give it a shot here. Hold on. Let's uh, let's turn on the settings here. Let's give it a bash. I just have to swap over my microphone now. Okay, you ready for this? <clears throat> ah. Okay, not for me. Is it for you? Oh, eight three thirty ten one zero three. Get this show in full Monday to Friday from six thirty a.m. to nine on Midlands one zero three. Gavin James, Midlands 103. Good morning. Peter with you. I've music on the way from a song that was released back in 1975. It became a big hit again in 1997, but thanks to one of the best comedy movies of the 90s. Do you know what it is? Hang around for that in a sec. And do you know what Vet Fielding? She presented the um, Most Haunted program. Well, she reckons, forget exorcist. If you have a ghost in your house, all you have to do is give it a good telling off. There you go. That's the best way to clear them out of the house. So the former Most Haunted host was asked for her top tips to carry out a DIY exorcism on a ghoul. She said, talk to it. The very first thing you do is talk out loud to the spirit in the house. You need to be firm, direct, but respectful. You must let them know that they are scaring you and must stop their activities. Oh, I don't know about that. Because I pity any ghost that goes up against an Irish mammy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'd want to be a brave old ghost. As soon as stuff starts flying around the house, you pick that up right now. Pick that up. I've no time for this nonsense. I've a kitchen to clean. I've dinner to cook. I've clothes out in the line as well. You pick that up right now And you give that up That would easily get a ghost out of your house But there she says Talk firm but fair <laughs> That's what you have to do right Talk firm but fair to the ghost So You hear this uh, You hear this voice In the house And it goes Get out and All you have to say is Your shoes is off I'm here for the day <laughs> Start your day the Peter Dunway. <laughs> Feel good breakfast on Midlands 183. Happy Halloween to you. Actually, I shouldn't be playing this music, Courtney. I should be playing music like this instead. Yes, good Halloween music. Do you like <laughs> Halloween? I love Halloween. Brilliant. Now, I'm a bit fra- afraid of everything at Halloween, but I do love Halloween. Excellent. Lovely <laughs> stuff. Well, do you know what we're doing on the show? We're getting people to send in their... Um, uh, Halloween laughs and cackles. That's the best thing ever. <laughs> do you have headphones? I do. I'm going to stick throw them on, on because I want your uh, I want your opinion on these, Courtney. Okay. okay? Uh, so this is Emily. Emily sent in a WhatsApp vo- voice note. Emily is eight years of age, and we've ran this through our Phantom Frequencies Laboratory. Okay. Okay. Let me know what you think of this. <laughs> 
That's pretty good, <laughs> isn't it? That's really good. That's well done, like, Emily. That nearly scared me. That, what do you mean nearly scared you? <laughs> it nearly, it's a very witchy laugh. <laughs> it is brilliant. I love it. Uh, let me see who else we have. Oh, we Colm sent in this as well. Good morning, Colm. <laughs> Mm. Very like creepy. That. I think he's indigestion at the end there, doesn't he? <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> Love it, Colin. Love it. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Keith sent this in. Peter. Peter. I am watching. I am watching. I am behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Keith works for revenue, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching you anyway. He is, he is. Thank you, Keith. That was brilliant. So do you know what I'm going to ask you now, Courtney? Oh, no. Do you know what I'm going to ask you now? Peter, I can't. Go on. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. You have to do one first. I did one. I nearly choked on air, so <laughs> I, I I already did one. Okay. Okay, you ready? In when? In your in your own oh time, my Courtney. God. In your own time. You're, you're really you're, putting me on the spot now. Absolutely. <laughs> your best witch's laugh or okay. evil laugh, whatever. You, if you want to go evil, kind of dark, that's fine. If you want to go witch, well, we'll go see witch. what happens. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, you could do better than that, Courtney. Callan. That's as good as it gets. Goodness, you cannot. Right. I want you to breathe with me. Okay. Into your nose, and now let it all out. <laughs> That's my normal laugh. <laughs> that probably scared people as well. That's your normal evil laugh. I love it. There you go. So Courtney, have a happy Halloween. You too. And uh, enjoy uh, as we get to experience loads of people knocking on our doors. All the scares. Looking for stuff dressed in costumes they're not normally dressed in. <laughs> you think I'm talking about the election now, don't you? Yeah, You yeah. said that, Being not me. No, 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 no. <laughs> no radio. It's fine. You can get the full show Monday to Friday from 6.30am to 9 on midlands103.com or you can download the free app from, I don't know, wherever you get your apps, I suppose. Uh, it's about damn time. Lizzo on your feel-good breakfast. Good morning. It's quarter past eight. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Bank Holiday Friday. Long weekend this weekend. 083 30 10 103 When you want to text or WhatsApp or WhatsApp voice note Thank you so much for your bad dad gags by the way We still have time for some more if you have one Let us know We'll do it at uh, about 25 to 9 this morning And we've often heard of gardeners talking to their plants And we're encouraged to talk to them Because you know it's good for the plants They respond to us and this kind of stuff How do they respond to us? Well now they're going to respond to us via AI technology. Yep, they've developed this to allow uh, gardeners to be able to talk to their plants. And their plants are going to talk back to you. So you'll be able to ask your plants, like, uh, how are you feeling? What do you need? All that kind of stuff. So this is going to be trialled at next year's Chelsea Flower Show. This is the truth. This is the God honest truth. But no, if your plants are talking back to you, you might be... Exposed to too much weed killer. Might want to ease off the old weed killer. Or put a mask on or something. God, here... If if my plant spoke to me, there's only one thing they would say. (coughs) For the love of God, will you please give me a drop of water? Breakfast with Peter Dunn on Midlands 103. Weekday mornings from 6.30am. These are the highlights. Dasha Austin, boot stop working, Midlands 103. Good morning. So I was telling you there a few minutes ago about the um, Chelsea Flower Show. They're going to trial this thing where your plants can talk back to you. They're going to use artificial intelligence so the plants can, can tell you what they need to know. <laughs> Big hello to Dave who got in touch. Dave said, I've enough trouble with the wife without the plants having a go at me as well. Do you remember years ago you had B-sides? Well, that was a B-side to a song called Blue Night. And producers thought it wasn't that good. But radio DJs picked it up and said, yeah, that's a hit. You got a hit in your hands there. Hot chocolate, you sexy thing. Midlands 103. Good morning. So our very own Maura Higgins says she suffered dark thoughts after coming out of Love Island. She finished fourth on the reality TV show back in 2019 
And she says life immediately after the series was very hard as she was in a public eye in the UK with no support network. She was speaking on the We Need to Talk podcast. And it's true, when you're catapulted into that kind of environment, how did your head process it? Look at poor Liam Payne. And speaking of which, he's releasing a new song, but it's been uh, postponed following his death two weeks ago. The track is called Do No Wrong. It was made with American singer Sam Pounds, who initially said it would be out on Friday, but now admits it's not the time yet. But he says he wants all proceeds to go through charity chosen by Liam's family. Beyonce said she couldn't be prouder of her mammy because she's going to release a memoir. Tina Knowles said the book will be out uh, next April. Beyonce says she's happy for her mammy to share some of her stories, but is asking her, you know, don't reveal too much, mammy, you know. Keep some things private. And Killian Murphy is returning to the big screen. The Oscar-winning actor joined stars on a red carpet in Dublin last night to premiere the new movie Small Things Like These. He's taken on a producer role for the film, which is based on the best-selling book by Irish author Claire Keegan. And Killian says the storyline, which focuses on Magdalene Laundry, has had a big impact on people in Ireland. So many people have read the book, and, you know, it's on the curriculum. My son's actually studying it for his leaving, so, you know, um, clearly... Irish people have taken it to, to their hearts and we wanted to just do the, the, the book justice, you know. That's what we really wanted to do. Better get a H1 now. <laughs> Better get a H1. Can you imagine if he failed that? How did you fail that? Your dad starred and produced the movie. Like, seriously. I don't know. That's the response I'd get, anyways. I don't know. Mm. Breakfast with Peter Dunn on Midlands 103. Weekday mornings from 6.30am. These are the highlights. So Halloween is upon us on Thursday. And during Halloween, we like to... um we like to ignite the fear in ourselves, don't we, Courtney? We By do. watching Halloween movies and series and all that kind of stuff. Like giving ourselves controlled scares. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, now I wouldn't be into that. I'm a bit too scared for anything like that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, like, I watched my first horror movie actually over the weekend well what was it 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 yeah yeah good one to start <laughs> okay you're looking at me there you go I was terrified Peter yeah. <laughs> well funny enough actually did you know that clowns are some of our most common fears well yeah it's one of mine <laughs> it is now says you yeah, it, <laughs> it wasn't <is>. before the movie <laughs> but we have a list of things that are common fears coming up to Halloween and uh some really unusual ones here. Okay. Okay, we have the regular ones, you know, heights, spiders, snakes, and closed spaces and all that. But did you know that a number of people have a fear of the likes of buttons? Buttons? Buttons, as in, yeah, buttons on your clothes. No way. Yes. And the name is uh, compoundophobia or something like that, I think. I can't even oh pronounce it. Oh, my God. It. It's the phobia of closed buttons. Never heard of that before. I kid you not. <laughs> I kid you not. That's crazy. Uh, other phobias include uh, being home alone. Okay, that's fair enough. I think I have that one as well. <laughs> small holes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you have a phobia of small holes? <laughs> it's called tri tri. Tripophobia. I've actually heard of it and I actually, I know I'm laughing, but I do know someone who has it. But That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Everybody has a fear of something. <laughs> but it's like, you know, watching like um, the videos on TikTok where it's like, you know, like a honeycomb has like the really. Absolutely. That's, <laughs> That's what it is. And uh, sponges. Yeah. Anything exactly. with repetitive patterns is a fear. Of small holes. There you okay. go. Um, <laughs> other <laughs> phobias include belly buttons. Right. Some people have phobias of belly buttons. Okay. Um, another one is tin openers. Tin openers. <laughs> Phobia of tin openers. Okay. <laughs> this is number 25 on the top 30 list of fears. Wow, I wouldn't yeah. guess that. Um, what else do we have here? <laughs> I'd say this is yours, Courtney. Okay, Being well, without your mobile phone. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. How did you guess? <laughs> I don't know. It just came to me there, you know. Oh, my God. Yeah, 100%. Um, the colour yellow is a fear. Yellow? The colour yellow, yeah. No, that's a lovely bright colour. I, don't know I why. think so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth is a fear. <laughs> Well, I'm not too fond of peanut butter, so no, I actually no. don't know about that one, but I don't think I have a fear of it. <laughs> uh, what else we have here? Balloons. A fear of balloons? 
Balloons popping, I maybe. Think, oh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Nothing worse than there. Yeah. The unexpected <laughs> pop of a balloon. Yeah, the fright. <laughs> <laughs> no radio? It's fine. You can get the full show Monday to Friday from 6.30am to 9 on midlands103.com or you can download the free app from, I don't know, wherever you get your apps, I suppose. Picture this, Midlands 103. Good morning. 18 minutes to 8. Let's see how that caffeine kick went down. So what comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? Deccan Walsh Island got it right. Hilden, Shinron, Jacko, Carmel, Troy and Kilcormack, Martin Phelan, Martin and Kilbegan, well done. Oliver Klasny in Clombalogue, Breed in Clarine, Bernie and Pumbrosna got it right. Evelyn Smith, Margaret in Clara, Trish in Leash. Catherine and Clara as well. Martin got it. Mary and Tullamore. Annette Dignan in the Berries Athlone got it right. Josephine from Banagher. Claire McGee and Scraggan got it. Trees in Kilbegan. Bernie from Moat. Eugene Prendergast and Monaster Evan. Catherine in Balnagore. Patrick Bennett got it right. Catherine Gavin in Tullamore got it as well. Marie Hickey in Balnahoun made the honours list as well. Kevin Moore in Port Arlington. Uh, Jerry and Mullingar got it. Tommy in Delvin. Michael Casey in Dangan. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? The answer is the letter M. Well done if you got that right. Do you know the way the head is a bit fuzzy after the long weekend? I know mine is, anyways. But if you got that right, well done. You're up and at them this morning. That's your caffeine kick for Tuesday. We'll do another one next Tuesday, around 20 past seven. Get this show in full Monday to Friday from 6.30am to 9 on Midlands 103. Buzz here, Too Sweet, Midlands 103. Speaking of Too Sweet, by the way, we were talking there a couple of minutes ago about how sometimes mammies and daddies like to pick at the Halloween haul that the kids bring home from Trick or Treat. I've been handed a survey and it says 86% of parents will shamelessly steal sweets from their children's Halloween haul. Um, so a study examining our Halloween sweetie eating habits found many sneaky parents won't hesitate to steal treats from their own child when the little one isn't looking or has gone to bed. Sweet tooth mums and dads don't just stop at one or two pieces. The average sweet snatching parent will devour just under half of their child's total ho- Ah, no. I, I wouldn't do that, no. Parents may not be dressing up to go trick-or-treating, but 44% will eat more sweets than their children this Halloween. It's not just for kids as well. Four in ten adults say they enjoy it even more now than when they were a child. Uh, For nearly 40% of these adults, the reason why is because there's no limit on the amount of sweets that they can eat. So there you go. When you're handing out treats to boys and girls at the door when they're dressed up as... Witches and goblins and ghouls. There's a mammy or daddy waving at you from the footpath going, thanks very much. Because you're really feeding them.